As we age, there's a progressive decline in our memory, but for some aspects of memory, this is negligible. In terms of measures of retention, numerous studies have shown that recall declines with age. So for instance, when we test a young person and an old person on a particular type of recall test, that is, when no cues are provided, the young person will consistently far outperform the elderly person. Recognition, on the other hand, where we ask people to remember information and this time providing them with cues, again, numerous studies have shown no or minimal decline with age. That is, the elderly person will perform at a similar level to the younger person when we provide them with cues to help them remember content. Age does have a significant effect on our short-term or working memory to rapidly process, store and manipulate information. And this can be largely explained by our slowing or less efficient central nervous system and the way that it operates. Our ability to retrieve information from LTM is slower and less efficient. Our ability to maintain and, and divide our attention between various stimuli is hindered. Our ability to manipulate and process information in our working memory is less efficient, which finds us out when we're trying to perform complicated tasks requiring us to simultaneously store, retrieve and manipulate information in our working memory. In terms of the impact of ageing on LTM, those autobiographical memories relating to time and place, episodic memories, are more likely to be affected than skill-based procedural memories or well-learned information about general knowledge in the world, semantic memories. Retrieval from LTM will be slower and less efficient and our ability to encode information and ultimately store it in long-term memory will be less efficient and slower so thus it will be more difficult and take longer for us to learn new skills. In terms of a biological explanation for why we experience memory decline over the lifespan, I've already talked about the slowing down of the central nervous system and its ability to process and transmit information. But also neuroimaging devices show that we get shrinkage in the prefrontal cortex and reduced activity, thus explaining the decline in our working memory. Other causes of memory decline, well, a lack of mental activity. Numerous studies have shown that people who retire early and don't keep their minds active experience a much more accelerated rate of memory decline than those people who are working longer in a, in a job that's mentally taxing and they're regularly exercising their brain. A loss of confidence, a loss of motivation are all, also key factors in memory decline for the elderly. And also there have been a number of recent studies that show the importance of physical exercise in delaying um, cognitive decline. So, for instance, people who keep physically active are less likely to experience significant memory decline than those people who are relatively inactive.